Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about top 12 common mistakes that most developers make. These are the mistakes that everybody, no matter irrespective of their experience level, would have absolutely and surely made. I have personally made a lot of mistakes that I'm going to list it. I'm sure you can relate to it. The idea behind this is to know them, revise them and keep them in mind when we are developing our applications. I hope these 12 mistakes that I'm going to share it with you will improve and you will keep that in mind when you're developing your applications. Let's get started and make sure that we don't make this mistake anymore. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to our friends at API Layer who are supporting and sponsoring this video. API Layer is a hassle-free API marketplace where you can find a lot of trusted APIs. We can boost our applications capabilities without worrying about scalability or stability. You can check out more at apilayer.com. Absolutely amazing. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Instead, pick the APIs that this API marketplace has and they have an exhaustive list and you can search by categories and you can see what all different um, options you have in terms of using which APIs are available, what do you want to use. One of the commonly used ones is say phone verification, right? That is something that absolutely everybody uses in their applications if you are building a serious application. Now let's say you want to check out something, um, say this one, NumVerify, which is a global phone number validation and lookup JSON. So you can find more such APIs at apilayer.com. So make sure you check it out and I'm sure you'll find a lot of APIs you can use in your applications. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Now let's get started with the common mistakes by developers. The first and the foremost, which I've made it as a point number zero is never assume things. When you assume, you make ASS of you and me. That's what assume stands for. That means never assume anything. Even if you have smallest doubt, query, ask it, get it clarified so that you don't assume things. This is one of the most important aspect for developers. All right. So the common mistake number one is authentication without proper authorization. A lot of times when we are developing APIs or writing code, we try to implement authentication. But most of the times we try to skip up whether it is doing proper authorization or not. That means whether a person who is seeing the data is supposed to see it or not. That's the difference between authentication and authorization. Authentication means whether user meets the basic security credentials. That's username, password, fingerprint, scanning, etc. Authorization is granting permission to see a particular data or an action, right? So know the difference between authentication and authorization. Whenever, whenever you are implementing authentication, make sure that you have proper authorization in place. That's mistake number one. The common mistake number two, non-responsive websites. Now, a lot of times when the de junior developers, I would say, are creating UI designs, they try to give it in pixels, they are not responsive. They work only on certain desktops or laptops. But as a good developer, when you keep go getting more experience working on different projects, you tend to learn the skill that you have to think through from responsive websites design perspective. Which means a good experience and good UI will also adapt to different resolutions. And that is the common mistake number two that I've seen. Number three is skipping the SEO optimization. Just because we write some code and it works doesn't mean it's always good code. SEO, particularly for public pages like blogs, articles or pages has to have proper SEO implemented. A lot of developers will skip this portion and as a result of which the pages or the articles will not be found on the internet through Google search indexing. Every website should be heavily SEO optimized for its niche. So remember, 
to include SEO optimization in your plan when you're developing websites. Cross-browser compatibility. You would have heard often this line or in fact you would have said this line often. I have personally said this line often which is it is working in my local machine but it doesn't work in other browsers or in other systems, right? Happens to all, all of us, even experienced developers. Now, some business users still use IE, Edge, some use Firefox, some use Safari, etc. The idea is your code should be written in a way that it has cross-browser browser capability. It has to work in different browsers compatibly and smoothly. So that's common mistake number four that I've seen that we always do not implement for cross-browser compatibility. Mistake number five, that there is no proper input validations. Now this, I do not call it a mistake. I call it a crime. If you are not living under a rock, you, would, you must implement a complete form validations. Again, rule number one applies, which is do not assume things. User will enter bad data. User will enter corrupt data. We have to put checks not only at client side, even at backend side. We need to make sure all the form validations, checks and requirements are properly, stably verified. Okay. So make sure that you don't miss out on any input validations. Again, never assume anything. User will enter bad data. Common mistake number six no accessibility designs now chances are that 99 percent of your website is ready it's functional it's doing what it is supposed to do and then when it goes to accessibility testing you get a lot of medium to high to severe issues because your development or your product or your website does not have the accessibility rules implemented what are the accessibility rules it says that anybody with any um, I would say special needs should be able to access your products or applications. That means you should be able to use keyboard using tab navigation. The colors of the application should be easily able to so that any color blind person can also easily see and view it. There should be all text. There should be a speech, text to speech. So all of these factors count and come under accessibility design. Not having accessibility design I don't think your application will make it to production. Common mistake number seven, not having a separate CSS and JS codes. A lot of times the code gets messy when you have everything in one single file. Most of the modern frameworks will do the work of minimizing, normalizing and spitting out different JS and CSS files. The idea is to use the build systems so that your code has separation, right? There is no uh, separation of code concern there. Your, your CSS is separated, your JS is separated. Keep them minimized, keep them normalized. That way it's easy to maintain, easy to debug. Common mistake number eight, not following coding standards. Every enterprise must follow certain coding standards. In fact, as a matter of fact, some of the modern frameworks like Angular, React, they enforce certain coding standards, which is good in terms of every developer will follow those coding standards. Talking about modern UI frameworks like Bootstrap, Material Design provides inbuilt typography, which means anybody who wants to define a, a container will write class equal to container. That way it's easy to understand it's easy so that new developers who join our team can easily understand the code and there is a uniformity in our code. Also, if you don't follow coding standards, trust me, your PRs are going to take long time. Reviews, right? Code reviews are going to take a long time and it will lead to eventually pile up of bad code. Common mistake number nine, not asking for help. Now, this is one of the things I see that in a lot of junior developers, they are hesitant to reach out to experienced developers. They take it personally. They take it as ego. There is no shame in asking for help. We all were freshers at one point. And this is some advice that I give to most junior developers is ask for help when you need it. 
ask for guidance ask for certain lead don't ask them to spoon feed you but ask them to give you a kind of lead so that you can do further research R&D and find the exact solution but never hesitate reach out to your friends seniors experienced folks they will be able to help you and better guide you that's the way to learn common mistake number 10 restful anti patterns I see a lot of broken restful patterns when my team raises some of the PRs and in code reviews I tell them don't use wrong HTTP verbs if you are doing a post do a post rest API if you are doing a get call make it get right so these are common HTTP verbs that you have to follow in terms of restful patterns also avoid writing some for a post call don't say add user that's bad if it's a post call that means you are adding so you can just say post user that makes it you don't have to say post and the name of the method is add user that is bad naming so stick to the restful patterns that's common mistake number 10 common mistake number 11 writing old school HTML now this is something again I see in lot of junior devs they try to write in old school like tables not using HTML5 semantic tags and much more to write a head section we write head to you write navigation use nav for sidebar use aside for articles use use section like this don't over complicate your HTML by writing too many DIVs too many classes which are not even friendly like tables etc right the idea is to use modern semantic web tags and attributes so that your code is much more easy to understand easy to maintain and most importantly works on multiple browsers the last one is over using libraries and packages over a period of time you would see your package.json file has become an elephant because there are so many bunch of packages that we have added some of which we don't even use anymore so make sure that you add a technical debt story to clean up that mess so that you have only useful packages that you use and not make a mess of your package file it's easy because the deployment the build time everything depends on this so using only libraries and modules that you use will help you having less code si file size easily maintainable and also it will be blazingly fast thank you that was the common 12 common mistakes that developers do I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to check out the ebook that I have published which is on JavaScript top 100 coding interview questions you can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com thank you so much for joining please do subscribe to my channel and ask me your doubts in the comment section thank you again for joining see you in the next episode